guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video for you and we are going to talk about my, let's see, what am I deciding to call it? My Disney Holiday Gift Guide. So these are gifts that are primarily centered around either a Disney trip or just Disney in theming. So if you think this might work for somebody on your list, then keep watching. First, I'm going to start with the category of babies and toddlers and very small children. So my first idea is a plush pillow. And I have seen these at Disney World many, many times. Um, they have Eeyore and Dumbo and Stitch and a Disney Cruise Line Mickey on shopdisney.com. And they are $32.99 each. And I have seen these in person and the Eeyore is so soft. It is amazing. And you can see it opens up to be um, a pillow and when it's kind of folded up, it looks a little bit more like a stuffed animal type of thing. But I thought that'd be a fun idea for a toddler, especially if they are really into one of those um, characters, like if they're really into Winnie the Pooh or Lilo and Stitch, that kind of thing. Now my second idea is a long tail plush. And you can also get these from shopdisney.com and they are $29.99 each. And they have Miko from Pocahontas, Marie from Aristocats, Flower from Bambi, and Todd from The Fox and the Hound. And I actually purchased Flower for um, a, well, very little boy, um, a friend of mine's child. And I thought that would be really, really fun. I got it from, he was um, almost two years old, I think. No, he was almost one, he was very little. Um, I, I can't remember, but he was very little. Um, but I got this from, cause I thought it'd be a lot of fun. And obviously you're not going to, um, you know, just give this to a really little kid and put it in their crib. I mean, of course not, but, um, his mom really liked playing with him and kind of like putting it around his neck like a scarf and stuff. And she thought that, that was, um, he just loved it. It was a lot of fun. And then playing with it like, uh, like you would a stuffed animal as well. But the tail is so long and I've seen these um, at Disney a ton of times with other little kids carrying them around and they're really very, very cute. So I think that would make a fun gift for um, a small child as well. Obviously not too small. Cause like I said, you gotta make sure they're not gonna, you know, like choke themselves with it. But um, little kids I think would really like it. Now the third idea I have for this category are Disney babies. And these are extremely prevalent if you've been to Disney World, I'm sure you've seen them. You can get these again at shopdisney.com and they are $26.99. And if you have a child that is really into babies, I think little kids go through that phase a lot, particularly little girls go through this phase where they like to have little babies. I think they would really like this. So it's a little stuffed animal and they have tons of them. They have Mickey, Minnie, Bambi, Thumper, Simba, Flower, Dumbo. I mean, they have tons, even more. Um, but it's like a baby version of the character and then it comes with a little blanket that you wrap them up in. I think that would be adorable and very popular with little kids, little girls especially. And my last gift idea is a little bit pricier, but it's a Disney stroller blanket. And again, this is from shopdisney.com, like most of the items on my list are. And this one is $59. I thought this would be great for somebody who is planning a trip to Disney and they're bringing a small child with a stroller, um, especially if they're going in the cooler months. If you know somebody that's going in January or February and they um, are gonna be bringing their child with a stroller, they might wanna have a little blanket in there. It's super cute, it's by Ethan Allen. Um, I think that would be a really good gift for them as well if you are wanting to spend a little bit more money. Okay, so my next section is for older kids. And then a lot of these things, I mean, you can, they can cross categories. You know, if you have an older kid or even an adult that, you know, might collect, um, you know, like stuffed animals, for example, I mean, get it. Who's to say you can't, you know, it's that that's something that's for little kids. You can certainly get it for any age, but these are just ideas that I thought the, that would be popular for the majority of um, kids in those categories, if that makes sense. So older kids. My first idea for older kids was lounge pants. I really, really love, I mean, I've always really loved lounge pants, but I think Disney lounge pants are especially fun. Um, you can 
search on Amazon for them. Um, if you want, you know, Disney patterned ones, I'm pretty sure I've seen them at Target as well. ShopDisney.com has them, and they are $22.95, and you can get them in all kinds of fun prints. But I think that's kind of a fun idea for older kids or even adults. The next thing I have is a cosmetic and toiletry bag. And these are, like everything else I've mentioned thus far from ShopDisney.com, I, how would I just specify from now on if it's not from shopdisney.com? Everything else is. So the cosmetic and toiletry bags. I thought these would be really fun for, well, I guess, I mean, a bunch of different people in this category, but so they have a, they have a beast cosmetic bag and it is $32 and 95 cents. And I think this would be a fantastic idea for a little girl that, I mean, or I guess a boy could use it as like a toiletry case too. Um, but a little girl who, I don't know, maybe like nine and 12, I was, was kind of what um, was in the back of my mind. And they could use it as a toiletry case, obviously, because they're not gonna be wearing makeup at that age. But they could also put like lip gloss and stuff like that in there. And I think if you put things like lip gloss in there for them for their trip, that would be super fun. And I think that they would just love it. So like I said, they have Beast. They also have an Evil Queen cosmetic case and that one is $28.95. They have a Sleeping Beauty cosmetic case and that one is $38.95. So if you have an older kid that is wearing some makeup, it might be fun to put a little bit of makeup in there for them as well. Otherwise, like I said, you could put you know, a chapstick or something like that in there um, and hand lotion and things like that for younger kids. And I think it'll make them feel a little bit more grown up. And um, yeah, it's it would be perfect for their trip to Disney. Now for guys, if you have kids that are, or again, I mean, this could be for girls too. Um, if they're really into Iron Man or Spider-Man, they have toiletry cases for them as well. And those are $22.95. And then they have a Captain America toiletry case and that is $24.95. So I'm trying to think if you are, you know, if you're getting these, you know, a cosmetic case for the girl, if they have a boy that's around a similar age, you could get them a toiletry case and you could put things in there for their trip. Um, you know, you could put a travel toothbrush in there and a little thing of toothpaste and just things to get them ready for the trip. And you know, you're gonna say, oh here, this is, this is for your trip and you're all ready to go and it'll be in a theme that they like. I think that would be fun. Moving on to adults. Now my first idea for adults is a tie. Disney has some really cool ties and they're a little pricey. They are about $40 and up if you can get them when they're on sale or if you have a coupon code from shopdisney.com. That is always nice. My husband has one and they're very, very nice. They're not um, gaudy. I'm sure you can find some gaudy ones, but they have, they have some very nice ones where it's very subtle Disney, but it's kind of fun for a big Disney lover in your life. Now they also, this is something that I look at every time I'm there, but I never get it and I don't know why, but they have the funnest, most fun, they have the most fun mugs, like coffee mugs, and they start at $12.99 and they go up, I mean, you can get some pretty crazy elaborate ones, but they are so cute. I think it would be really cool to give somebody a fun Disney mug and then, get them some coffee or hot chocolate or, um, you know, like a packet of apple cider mix. I mean, all kinds of things you can get. Um, you can get those spoons that are dipped in chocolate that you're supposed to mix into your coffee or hot cocoa, I guess, if you're like requesting a double chocolate fix, but all kinds of fun stuff. You could put that in there and then wrap that up. I think that would be a really cute gift and not that expensive. Now this next idea I had not heard of until today when I was on the Shop Disney website looking for some pictures of these things I knew I wanted to put in, into my video that is. And I found these peekaboo lid mugs. I've never, I don't think I've seen them. I mean, I thought it was new today. It seemed new to me anyway. But I thought these were perfect for tea drinkers because when you are steeping your tea, you are supposed to keep your the temperature of the water a consistent temperature the entire time it's steeping 
So if you let it just sit out at room temperature and don't cover it, it's going to cool. So if you have somebody that's a big tea aficionado and they're a Disney fan, I thought this would be super cool to get them one of these mugs. And again, you could get them some tea to, you know, to go with it. I think that would be a really fun gift. And they are $16.95 and they have Winnie the Pooh, Mickey, a Cheshire Cat, and Stitch. And really, I think Disney needs to calm down with Stitch and they need to stop making Stitch happen. Like, get rid of Stitch's Great Escape and let's move on with our lives. Okay, next, pens. They have some really fun pens that are, I think, grown up and very professional. I mean, they also have ones for kids, but the ones I have in mind for, and this is for adults, they are very professional. I mean, it wouldn't be awkward to have it, you know, if you worked in an office or anything like that. Very nice, but they do have a little bit of, you know, Disney character to it. I think that would be a really cool gift for a Disney lover in your life. Especially one, if, you, if there's somebody that wears, um, you know, a suit to work every day or if they wear, um, you know, a dress shirt and tie every day, to have something fun like that, I think is just a little bit more unexpected but it's still totally appropriate. And the last thing I have on my list that's just for adults are packet cubes. I have talked about these several times in some of my packing videos, and the ones that I have are from Eagle Creek. You can get them from the Eagle Creek website, you can get them from Amazon, and from the Container Store website or a Container Store location. Now they do have other brands of packet cubes if you look on Amazon. I've never tried any of the other ones, so I can't speak to those or recommend any of those, but the Eagle Creek packet cubes are absolutely fantastic. And it's essentially a pouch and it's, you know, kind of square rectangular and it has a zip, the th zipper on three sides and a lid that you can, or a cover I should say, that you lift up. And this helps to keep your clothes organized when you're packing. This seemed like something that is very, extraneous, ridiculous, kind of a waste. I'm not sure how to describe it. But once I tried it, I was hooked. I lent them to my sister when she went to Italy. She thought that they were great too. Um, my, I've used them for my husband's packing. He thinks they're great. It's something that you don't really think about and I think a lot of people wouldn't necessarily buy for themselves. But once you have them, they're so handy. It's really nice if you are packing multiple people's worth of clothes in one suitcase so you can keep them separate. Um, like when we've done split stays at Disney, I will put my clothes for one hotel in, in a packet cube and then for another hotel in another so I don't have them all um, intermingled and I'm you know not pulling things out. It keeps your suitcase so much more organized. It's just fantastic. I really, really love them. And they have so many different sizes. They have um, cubes that are meant for, or that are like the size of shoes or flip-flops, um, clothes, so many different kinds. So I really do recommend them. And I think if you maybe got a set of them, it would be kind of fun if you, you know, got like a pair of lounge pants, put that in there, or a Disney t-shirt, put that in with for people who are planning a Disney trip. I think that would be a really fun gift as well. I also have some gift ideas that I think would work for either older kids or adults. And for those, I have first a phone case. You know, you can get these on Amazon. You can look for a Disney phone case, um, look on Etsy. You can shop Disney.com has a lot of them. And the ones from Disney are between $15 and $56 and 95 cents. And they have some really cool phone cases. So if you have a Disney lover in your life, I mean, any age, any gender, they have a phone case for you. They're really very, very cool. So definitely consider that. Every, I mean, everybody has a phone these days, so a cell phone. So definitely consider that idea as well. Another idea is a Disney gift card. And these are great because, I mean, you can get them online. You can get them at Target. So even Target has Disney gift cards. And then if it's for an adult, you know, they could use it either to help pay for their trip or when they're there, they can use it for food or souvenirs, or kids can use it for souvenirs. I know a lot of people get them for children because they'll say, okay, this is how much money you have to spend on souvenirs, and then they don't ask the parents for, bless you! Then they don't ask the parents for uh, you know, money and other things during the trip. The parents just give them the gift card at the beginning of the trip and they say, this is how much money you have to spend, so spend it wisely. And then when they know that's all they have and that is theirs, they're a lot more responsible with it. And then they're sure to get something that they really, really want. 
The last thing that I have in this category for, for older kids or adults is rolling luggage. They have, I mean, you can get Disney themed luggage, which is so adorable, or non-Disney themed luggage. The ones that I'm thinking, which actually my first idea was for children. I mean, and actually they're for little kids, but I mean, not like an infant. Obviously they're not gonna be carrying their own suitcase, but I have seen little kids in the airport, especially at MCO, which is the big, the main Disney airport. And they have this tiny little rolling suitcase. You know, it's like a four or five year old kid and they're pulling their little rolling suitcase feeling like a grown up. It is the cutest thing ever. I think that would be absolutely adorable for a little kid to bring on their trip to Disney. Lastly, for older kids and adults, I have fun magic bands. And these you can get from shopdisney.com and they are, well, they're $12.99 if they're plain. So if somebody is staying off property but they want to purchase a magic band, you can get them those. If they're staying on property, they automatically get a plain magic band as part of their trip. But you can purchase some way cooler ones online. And those cost between $22.99 and $48.99. There's only a couple that are right at the very top of the price range. And I think those are more um, like special edition or limited time magic bands. But they have some really cool ones that I think would be a lot of fun to give as a gift as well. And lastly, my gift idea that would work for any age is a magic band decal or magic band decals. And I found these on Etsy and my life I think is going to be transformed. I haven't ordered them yet. I'm about to place an order, but deciding is so hard because there are so many. The only thing you want to keep in mind is what kind of magic band do they have? Most people, when you're going now, Disney is only issuing Magic Band 2, which are the rounder ones where the center part comes out. Um, and according, the people on Etsy call that, that middle part a puck. Um, I can't remember, let's see what they, Disney calls it. Okay, so on Etsy, I was noticing people were calling them pucks because, I mean, that part comes out, it kind of looks like a hockey puck, makes sense but Disney calls them your icon. And you can actually get little things where you can take, okay, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. So you can take that center part out of your magic band and initially when Disney created these, it was so that you could swap them. So you could have a purple band and then put a pink icon in the middle. So you can swap them. But now they're also making like little carabiner type things where you pop that just that center icon into it and then you can clip it to something. So that's good for somebody who doesn't necessarily want to wear it on their wrist. So keep that in mind if you are purchasing Magic Band decals. I don't know if this is messing up my lighting. If you are purchasing Magic Band decals on Etsy because sometimes it is just a decal for the puck which is just gonna go in the center or for the whole band. Now, like I said, Disney's only issuing Magic Bands, Magic Band 2s from now on. Magic Band 1 was the original Magic Band. So if they are, if, if somebody is going and they might have an old Magic Band that they want to use, that you would get the one, but I'm guessing most people are gonna be using the twos. They've been using those for a couple of years now. Or how many do I have, one year? They're only issuing them now, um, but you can get, a decal that goes just on the Mickey head or that goes on the center icon or puck part or you could, that goes on the entire uh, Magic Band. They're just so cool. It really is a fun way to dress up the Magic Band without getting an entirely new one. So I have quite this stash of Magic Bands from previous trips because they remain active for several years. So I think I'm gonna have to get myself a bunch of decals and maybe even a fun Magic Band or two from Disney to spice up my next trip. But those are some of my thoughts for Disney gift ideas for people who are going to Disney or just Disney gift lovers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time. Bye.